In the latest update on the Oak Island mystery, there's been a thrilling breakthrough that has everyone on the edge of their seats. The team working tirelessly on the investigation has made some exciting discoveries, hinting at the hidden wealth buried deep within the island. Now the big question is, could this be the moment we've all been waiting for? This groundbreaking find might just determine whether we'll see a season 12 of The Curse on Oak Island. Make sure to stick around for all the latest updates. The legend of Oak Island's treasure has fascinated people for centuries, sparking numerous theories and quests for riches, ranging from pirate plunder to ancient artifacts. Some believe the island holds valuable treasures like gold, silver, and jewels, hidden by pirates or secret societies. Others speculate that important documents, ancient texts, or religious relics might be concealed beneath its surface, adding to its aura of mystery. Despite endless efforts to unlock its secrets, Oak Island remains an enigma, its treasure still waiting to be uncovered. The quest to find it continues to captivate treasure hunters and enthusiasts worldwide, drawn by the promise of a remarkable discovery. After months of tireless work and careful excavation, Rick and Marty have finally uncovered the elusive treasure they've been searching for. Their unwavering dedication to revealing Oak Island's legendary riches has finally paid off. As they assess the progress at the Money Pit, Rick and Marty oversee the meticulous excavation of the Garden Shaft probe operation. As they head to the Money Pit, Rick and Marty oversee the ongoing probe digging, now at the intended depth of the tunnel, leading into the potential treasure area. The crucial question now is, will they find the structure and uncover its secrets? As the final day of their expedition dawns, it's time for them to gather their equipment. Yet, the elusive item they seek remains elusive. Their anticipation builds as they prepare to explore the depths of Oak Island, a place notorious for guarding its secrets with tenacity. Standing atop sturdy planks in the murky depths of an ancient shaft, they both wield detectors in search of the fabled treasure said to lie hidden within Oak Island's depths. Their hearts quicken as they glimpse something promising, a glimmer of hope amidst the darkness below. With bated breath, they prepare to uncover what may be the ultimate prize. However, their progress halts momentarily as Gary uncovers a non-ferrous artifact, hinting at the mysteries lurking above. The gravity of their discovery resonates with the entire crew, compelling them to postpone further excavation until the next season. Chuck, the team's lead investigator, meticulously records the find from their war room, highlighting the significance of the find. Despite the setbacks, Rick and Marty express gratitude for their journey, acknowledging the contributions of their team members, particularly their nephew Peter and friend David. With plans in place, they resolve to delve deeper, extracting every morsel of information Oak Island harbors. After meticulously excavating to the marked depth, approximately 93 feet below the surface, they believe they stand upon the threshold of their quest's culmination. Every detail aligns perfectly, fueling their determination to uncover the secrets buried within. As they dismantle the last remnants of their excavation, a sense of anticipation fills the air. Oak Island remains steadfast in its resistance to reveal its secrets easily, yet their resolve remains unyielding. With each passing moment, they inch closer to unraveling the mysteries hidden beneath the surface. Their focus sharpens as they meticulously examine the artifacts unearthed, piecing together clues like fragments of a puzzle. Despite the challenges and risks they face, the allure of discovery propels them forward igniting a spark of excitement reminiscent of childhood dreams. In their pursuit of treasure, they venture deeper into the money pit, treading the same path as countless explorers before them. With each step, they embrace the legacy of those who came before, driven by the timeless quest for adventure and discovery. There is no way that this problem will be solved soon. Even though time is obviously running out, it's likely that whatever was meant to be found in this shaft was put there on purpose to make it easier to find. At that moment, they thought that using a metal detector would be helpful in some way. Since they didn't have much time left, they decided to ask a more experienced member of the team to use metal detecting gear to look into the hole and see what they could find. The search for the real treasure finally seems to be coming to an end after what seems like a lifetime. From the outside, it looked like the scenery had been carved out in the Middle Ages when the Templars were in charge. 
It was almost like they were prisoners locked up in a castle. As the investigators peered into the mysterious hole, a nagging suspicion gnawed at them. It likely contained an abundance of modern nails and wire. Their stroke of luck lay in the CTX-3030, a tool not only capable of uncovering such insights, but also equipped with distinctive signals and alarms linked to unique features. Upon initial contact, a spark of anticipation flared, yet the target proved elusive, devoid of non-ferrous materials. Thoughts raced, could it be gold, silver, or perhaps even copper? Certainty eluded them. At the pit's very bottom, just a stone's throw beneath the Earth's surface, lay the tantalizing possibility. Had they stumbled upon clues to Oak Island's legendary riches? If so, it would mark a profoundly intriguing discovery. Further examination revealed what now appeared to be a westward-bound tube, extending towards the infantile mass, roughly 10 feet below ground level. Yet, a bittersweet realization dampened spirits. Dumas lacked the requisite paperwork to expand the shaft presently. This moment straddled both sorrow and joy, compounding matters. They couldn't jeopardize their team's safety or the project's continuity by probing unstable ground below. The palpable excitement surrounding a non-ferrous detection was understandable, yet acting upon it posed inherent risks. The finding of a non-ferrous strike, on the other hand, is a happy event because it means there is a metal that is not ferrous. Dumas doesn't have the legal permissions to extend the shaft much further at this time of the year, so the event is both exciting and emotional. This is what caused the event to happen at this point in time. There is no longer any chance that the shaft can be made longer. Realizing that this goal can't be reached is a very disappointing realization to deal with. It's possible that both the glacial tumulus system and the series of water-filled anhydrite holes under Oak Island cause the pit to flood often. Oak Island is a very important place because it is on top of a tumulus system that was made of ice. Tumuli, which are rocks that were formed by ice over time, make up Oak Island. In the presence of water, this type of limestone is very likely to dissolve, and caves and other natural holes can form during this process. Bedrock might be found at depths of 38 to 45 meters, which are about 125 to 148 ft close to the dig pit. Since the 18th century, people have been constantly looking for treasures and relics, and they have put in a huge amount of work to do so. A lot of different kinds of artifacts have been said to be on the island. Such things as the Ark of the Covenant, the Holy Grail, and writings written by Shakespeare are examples of this type of thing. This video basically shows Rick and Marty as they go across the island, looking for the legendary wealth that is said to be on Oak Island. This episode shows that the team has reached the Money Pit area and dug to a depth that is about the same as the tunnel that is thought to lead straight west into the Treasure Zone. In spite of this, they still haven't found the building, and they can't wait to keep looking. At the bottom of the yard column, they use their devices to find what might be a valuable target while they are exploring the shallows. This goal might be a treasure. Gary, on the other hand, finds a non-ferrous head through the roof which breaks their line of thought. The group knows they will have to wait until the next season to continue their search after they have thought about how important the finding was. It is pointed out to Chuck that the treasure is a long way below the surface, away from the fight room. These people are excited about what's to come and are thankful for the support of their community, even though they have had some problems so far. There is no question that a good number of people would try to get at least some of the money that is said to exist. It's impossible to say which of these people will be great, though, because it's hard to tell what will happen. The Lagina brothers and the government emerge as the primary contenders poised to benefit from the potential wealth concealed within Oak Island's depths. However, asserting sole entitlement to the prospective riches proves to be a contentious matter. Each stakeholder involved holds a legitimate claim to a portion of the treasure, albeit not the entirety. Presently, the unfolding narrative of the Curse of Oak Island remains the only barometer for discerning whether such a phenomenon will recur. Time alone holds the answers to this enigmatic saga. If the ongoing intrigue captivates your interest, consider subscribing to the channel to stay abreast of the latest developments. After they were done with their work, the study team got together in a room to talk about their findings and observations. Although there were some failures, they believed that things would be different the next time they tried. In spite of this, 
progress was still made. Not only do they thank the community for their unwavering support, but they also let everyone know that they are getting closer and closer to finding the ultimate answers that will end the curse for good. As the current journey nears its conclusion, preparations for the next leg of the expedition are already underway, set to commence in the forthcoming spring. With the search reaching its conclusion, the host's anticipation for the future fills them with excitement. Curiosity piqued? Discover the latest findings by clicking on the next video in this series.